Hello everyone! I hope you're doing wonderful today. We just hit 14,000 subscribers today. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and following our videos. We're having so much fun creating art with you. And today, what are we going to make? Watercolor oh, jellyfish. jellyfish. Yes, they're so awesome. Can't wait to do this with you guys. For today's project, we need a cup of water, but not for drinking out of. We need a white crayon. We need watercolor painting paper or cardstock will do. And we need paint brushes. We need some salt. We need a rag. And most importantly, we need some paint. Now you probably can't tell from my paint palette that that's watercolor paint, but mine's watercolor concentrate. You can also use a tray of watercolor paint. This is the paint that we're using. It's called Color Splash Liquid Watercolor, and we really like this. This is a concentrate though, so you need to make sure that you use a wet paintbrush and wet paper when you use it. And you can even water it down a little bit. And if you're using watercolors like these, make sure you get your paintbrush wet and get the paint nice and wet before you use it. Mix it up. Rinse out your paintbrush and get it wet again before you paint your paper. Now we are going to take our white crayon and we're going to draw the shape of a jellyfish. You can do this a few different ways. If you have graphite paper, you can go online and print off a picture of a jellyfish and then You'd put the print off on top, graphite paper on the bottom, and then your painting sheet on the very bottom, and you can trace the jellyfish shape. Otherwise, you can um, use Google as your reference and look at what a jellyfish should look like. So generally, jellyfish have a round top. So we're gonna draw sort of like a half circle and then they have some squiggly lines that go from the top down. And it might be really hard to see what we're drawing here, but you can kind of see where our hands are going to make the shape. And then very squiggly shape for that bottom of the half circle. And it's even like multiple lines to do that. And then their tentacles are super squiggly, so you can do lots of squiggly lines for their tentacles. That's really all there is to it for a simple jellyfish shape. So, now we're going to take our larger paintbrush and we're going to get it get the paper wet. Get the whole paper nice and wet. This is also a fun one for young kids, teenagers, adults alike because you can get super, super detailed or you can be super simple with your jellyfish. Okay. Now be careful not to get your paper so wet that it starts to fall apart. So you just want to get it a little wet. That's a little harder with watercolor paper to get it to seem like it's falling apart. But you'll just want to be careful not to rub really hard with your brush. Okay, so now we're going to pick our colors. We can choose to do realistic colors, like what it would look like in the ocean. Like painting the water blue and maybe paint the jellyfish like 
a really light purple or a light blue, or you can get kind of wild and crazy with your colors. You could do purple and yellow for complementary colors. You could do red and orange. You can get really creative with your colors. What colors are you going to use? Red and purple. Ooh, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Now if your paint turns out too light, you're going to want to take your paintbrush and rub it around in the walk in the paint a little more. I'm going to use some purple and some blue. And as you might recall, we did our turtles in a similar fashion. This is a form of watercolor resist, which is really fun to do. If you ever want to lighten up a spot and create spots in your water, you can take a paper towel or a rag and soak up those areas.
Now if you'd like, you can get creative with your paint and create shadows so it's darker in some areas and highlights in others. You can put a shadow around the jellyfish if you'd like. And if all you have on hand is cardstock, just be really careful with your paintbrush to not rub too much or the paper will fall apart. Um, I understand a lot of places are taking quite a while to ship now. Um, so we're going to be working on changing our supply list through another place possibly that ships within a couple days so we don't have that issue. But we've been practicing our watercolors a lot so we had to use cardstock this time and it does fall apart a little bit and you have to be careful. But watercolor paper is what I definitely recommend for creating these projects because it doesn't peel apart like other papers and it stays wet longer. Okay, you might be wondering, what do we need salt for? Well, let me show you a pretty cool trick. If your paper's dry already, take your paintbrush and get it wet. If it's still wet, you can just put the salt right on. You're gonna sprinkle it on and then leave it for a little while. And what's going to happen is the salt is going to soak up the paint in those areas and you'll get this really cool effect on your painting. It's gonna be so cool. So good, and then in a while we'll brush it off of our painting. Thank you guys so much for painting with us today. I hope you had fun. I hope this was really nice and relaxing as you thought about ocean waves. All right, show them how they turned out. Ooh, I like them. We have some really pretty pastel colors in this one, and we have some dark colors in this one, and then here's mine with some aquas, greens, purples, and blues. Be sure to tag us on social media with the hashtag wildfreeandcrafty. You can follow us on social media on Facebook at Wild Free and Crafty and at The Rustic Orchid. And if you feel like you'd love to donate to support us continuing to do these art lessons, we would so appreciate it. You can go to our main channel page and on the header you'll see a button to donate and we would be so thankful for that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow.